guys. This is like a little bit of a in uh, conventional video, non-conventional video, what do you want to call it? So, well, oh, you guys are new. This is a, a bunch of my awards from like autocross and stuff. I got like more over here, more down here. I didn't even put up yet, but uh, I got this real nice painting in my car. Boom! I got another one out here, and as you can see here, my living room is pretty freaking empty. Um, I need to bring that stuff over, but. One of my favorite pictures in the world. My boy Cameron took this in Oklahoma City. Um, it's freezing outside. Let me show you that real quick. It's freezing. It's snowing. They actually shut down uh, base today. Gave us a day off. And they're supposed to get like 12 inches of snow. Or like 8 to 12. Something crazy. Anyway, so pretty much sold the majority of things in my house. I got someone getting a bed set here in the next couple days. I'm about to move my whole office over to her house here in a moment along with my engine uh, I don't want to start breaking down the engine here and then the house sells and then I gotta like scramble everything together and move it over so I'm going to move the engine and some tools over today the whole office um, probably this as well maybe even my wheels I got a whole attic full of car parts that I'm trying to get rid of so um, I'm one of the shop dap guys actually might be buying my rear all my old rear subframe and arms and stuff but if you, anyone any of you guys know Anybody that wants a front subframe in arms, I'm not going to bring that to the new house, so it's going to get thrown away. I'll sell it for cheap. Um, I just need it gone. Shipping is going to be most of it, so I mean, I might as well basically just give it away. Give me like some beer money for packaging it up. We'll ship it out, but uh, I'm going to sell my house, and uh, we're trying to move. I mean, definitely trying to move. I've been here. I got stationed here back in 2012, spent my whole Air Force career here, never got orders, got out. I'm a civilian contractor now. I work on drones, MQ-9 and MQ-1. Um, anybody that's played Call of Duty, you'll know when you get the UAV and it shows the people on the mini-map, that's what I work on. But they also carry bombs and missiles and do all types of other crazy stuff. So those are my planes. That's what I do. Anyway, so I bought this house in like 2015 and it's went up like a good amount of money in this five years. And she had bought a house. We, we kind of split up there for a little bit. She bought a house. Now we're back together. I don't like being at this house in general anyway. Uh, the installation ain't great. Uh, it's just, I don't, not a huge fan of this place. There's not much carpet at all. It's all this and I don't want to change. I mean, it's, it's too much. Selling the house, the market's great. Interest rates are low. Realtors came by yesterday, said this place was going to sell quick. I just got to do some painting, fix a couple things on walls that got messed up over the years and uh, let it rip. So I'm hoping this place sells by the end of the month of November. A lot of that money we'll be able to put into the build. Obviously, I'm going to put quite a bit in savings, but I'm running out of money. I, I got all the trade stuff dealt with. The, I, I bought everything I need except for the labor and a couple other things, but that's all, that's all good. But for me to be able to get this motor to a machine shop and cleaned and bored out and everything measured and then setting the head off to get ported, polished, put together, um, it's expensive. It's really expensive. So... On that note, merch is is basically paid for. Like I'm like this close. Like soon as I get approved for my business account, so I can you know actually start doing you know some business stuff, I'm gonna pay for that. That'll get done. I'm getting 100 shirts to start. Um, I get my buddy uh, Jesse is gonna be running the website for me and everything, and he does like screen printing and stuff himself. So he's gonna be putting some stuff up and we, we, anyway we got some deals going I'm gonna get some beanies made after the right after the shirts are made I'm using all of the shirt money to get beanies made and more shirts so and hopefully some hoodies right after that and that's gonna help fund the build so I hope that I mean reading the comments and interacting with the guys on Instagram Facebook and down in the comments it's been intense I've had so many people ask me to open up a not an OnlyFans what's the other one patreon <laughs> OnlyFans. <laughs> Wow, that's funny. Uh, a Patreon, which I was literally about to do the other day. Um, if you're unfamiliar with it, it's basically like a site you log into and like you subscribe to say me or somebody else, but the subscription is money and there's different levels. So say there's three levels, one's $4, one's $6, one's $10, you know, whatever. And depending on what you pay for, you get extra content. Well, I logged on YouTube the other day and YouTube basically has that same thing, but I didn't think you could even get it till you have like 10,000 subscribers or something, but it said I was eligible. So I was like, really? So I clicked it, 
played around with it, submitted it, I got approved. So I think on this video, this will be the first video. You'll see down there beside the uh, subscribe button, there'll be a join button. And there'll be three levels to it. Hopefully I changed the names by the time this video came out. But um, I think it's $4, $7, and $10. YouTube takes 30% of that off the top and the rest I get. But depending on what level that you pick, you'll get more content. So basically like the first one will be like live streams and Q and A's. The second one will be this and that. The third one will be this and that. I haven't gotten it all 100%. I need to write it down and I'll tell you guys more about it. I'll probably put it in the first comment down below. I'll explain more actually. I'll pin it and we know what you guys think. Um, I've also had people ask if they could just straight donate to help the build, um, which is dope. And if you want to do that, I will drop my PayPal and my Venmo down in the description. So hit the little arrow and it's going to drop down. You'll be able to see links to all my other friends, YouTubes and stuff like that. So make sure you check them out. Make sure you check out shop that if you need parts. Um, there's a lot going on, a lot going on. And if I, I want to get this car, like you guys have already seen how far we've gone and there's still so much more to go. We haven't even touched the interior. I don't even think you guys have seen the Kirky seat in probably like eight, nine videos. I'm sitting together seat. I need to get like custom upholstery with some padding in it for those seats. And when I sold my old seats, I accidentally left the seat belts on them, um, like the seat belt connectors. So now I get to rip my seat belts out and put harnesses in way earlier than I wanted to, but it's whatever. And I still want to do like the digital dash. I'm going to do a CAE shifter. If you guys ever seen those CAE shifters, they're crazy. They're beautiful. I'm also going to get a Willwood handbrake like the drifters use to use as like a staging brake and maybe be able to do some like little drifty tourney boys at autocross or, you know, on the dirt or sand, you know, whatever. And that's going to get welded to the CAE. So it'll be a nice setup there. It's going to be, it's going to be pretty, pretty freaking race car. Um, and there's still plenty of plans after that. I'd like to do custom front crash bar, you know, all the carbon fiber, the Verkline front end stuff. I, eventually I'd like to have like a TCR, like wide body kit. We're gonna have a half cage. There's gonna be a like legitimate aero. Aero fab is like getting so close to releasing their stuff. Chassis mounted splitter, chassis mounted rear diffuser, um, get the whole bottom of the car flat, you know, aerodynamic, eventually, you know, a big old wang that's removable. So I don't like a full job around town, but there's so much plan for this car and then you know you guys well, what, do you, what do you even do this for blah 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 well definitely tons of street racing because you guys know i love that shit but um autocross of course but when i move when we move like, hopefully you know like phoenix or dallas is what we're really aiming for and be able to hit up big tracks and like eventually once maybe i get a sponsor or two looking at you paul shop that um <laughs> Be like grid life. Grid life would be like the end all be all for me. I would love, absolutely love to be entering grid life. Going out there, if you guys watch Gears and Gasoline, going out there with them. You guys know uh, Brian from Eastwood Racing out there on the East Coast. He's doing a damn thing in grid life and doing great. Um, and his GTI, also a manual, also just blew up his transmission. So we're both kind of shit out of luck right there, but <clears throat> we chit chat back and forth. He actually got me hooked up with the guy that I bought my transmission from, which was super dope, saved me some money and a lot of time. So shout out to Brian. Um, wow, I just rambled for almost nine minutes. That's awesome. So I'm gonna set the camera up. We're gonna start throwing, I'm gonna hook the trailer up, start throwing stuff on the trailer. We're gonna put the engine sand on the trailer, which I mean, it's snowing, it's cold. This is gonna be fun to watch for you guys, I'm sure. <laughs> Well, we'll get that shit over to her house tonight and get a bunch of shit over there. I can, and I need to start coming over here and cleaning and painting and prepping this place to get looked at and all that. So basically I'm, I'm parting out my house to build my cars when it comes down to, and, uh, that hopefully no regrets. I mean, I don't, I don't want to live in this house anymore. I've been here for too long, too many bad memories, and I'm just, just not a fan, ready to move, ready to move out from this area in general, but money's good. People are good. It's a little bit longer. I should be out of here. So, any questions, comments, concerns? Drop them down below. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the shirt here um, once I get back to the house because I left. I didn't leave it here. I forgot. But it's gonna. I actually, homeboy sent me a picture because the shirt I have now is red and has the red stuff, which you'll see. I got him to change it to blue, so that's gonna be the shirt. And it's pretty simple. My boy Michael made it. Shout out to Michael. And when I posted these on Instagram a while back um, in the summer. Like the people that messaged me, it was insane. So many messages, so many people, where do I get this? How can I get this? 
let me buy this from you, like, well, they're about to be here, and I can only afford 100 off the bat, but that money will flip, and I'll be able to buy more shirts. I'm gonna get, like, literally, like, embroidered. Shout out to anybody in my, my, my subscribers here to listen to Chris Webby. Seen him in concert, like, five times. Dope guy, tons of pictures with him. Love his concerts. Anyway, this is exactly what I want. I want my logo on there. I might have to simplify it a little bit because there's like all that stuff in the logo, but this is what I want. And uh, then of course hoodies and then we're gonna get, I got a guy working on stuff for like the broke transmission, the engine build, and uh, I'm gonna do something like with the car and my Australian Shepherd with his half blue eye and stuff and have it like cartoony looking like there's stuff being worked on and it's gonna be dope. I just can't wait. I just so much going on between the website, the business stuff, YouTube, keeping up with you guys in the comments and messages and then moving stuff, selling the house, like so much going on. And then at that house we're painting, we just got a new dog, hundred different things going on. So I'm gonna quit rambling, I'm gonna set the camera up. Uh, you guys can watch us struggle get this engine on the, uh, whatchamacallit, on the trailer. And I got a bunch of other shit to move out, so. We'll see, I might be rambling more on later on. Anyway, either way, thanks for watching. I love you guys. The comments have been crazy. Like, I, I never thought, I, like, who am I? Who am I? Like, why? Who me? Why me? Who me? You guys like me, I guess? I don't know. It's pretty dope. And hopefully I can sell some stuff and make this build even more crazy. Pick up another project. I already have, like, 37,000 different ideas um, between Volkswagen stuff and other brands mixed in. I really want to do, like, a big turbo VR6 something. Um, well, that's definitely going to happen because the VR6 I had before, I never got to really let that baby sing and it was just heavenly. Even with the, the basic supercharger on it, it was it was the shit. So, stay tuned, guys. This, if this channel goes as far as I'd like it to, it's, it's going to be awesome. Like, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I said I'd record this. I uh, already got the trailer loaded up and kind of sitting there on the other driveway, but I'll throw a time lapse on, see how this goes. I think it's gonna be pretty level, so it shouldn't be too bad. I know it's not dipping my mouth with beef jerky. Love me some jerky. I actually got this shit in Myrtle Beach. Good stuff. How'd you guys like that? Uh, there's that one, the first time I was really cool with the, the clouds and stuff. We scored this painting for super cheap at, where was it? Ikea. Ikea. Got it for like super cheap. I really like it. Nice. And as promised, here's some, uh, come on man, get on camera. There you are, buddy. We decided on the name Apex. We, we did Nitto at first, and then uh, changed our minds a little bit later. Oh, he's clumsy. Let's see you real quick. Let's see. Oh, there goes my phone again. I guess we're gonna do it like this. You don't want no attention, Jay-Z, huh? Come here. Come here. You stealing this stuff again? Get out of here. Man, he's like, what, nine weeks now? You're doing pretty good potty training. He pees a little bit here and there, but he hasn't pooped in the house since like day two or three, really. Get, it's not for you. You're not peeing, boy. Ah, uh, anyway. Um, sorry there's no actual maintenance going on today, but I have a lot of things to talk about. Hopefully, when this video is coming out, that join button will be down there. Feel free to hit it. I'm not asking anybody to donate. I'm not asking anybody to do anything. If you want to go the extra mile, I guess is where you put it, then feel free. And I would super appreciate it. But here's the room. We've been doing stuff all day. We painted this all morning, went and did all that stuff, went to Lowe's, grabbed all these things. Man, the camera does not do it justice. Okay, maybe it's doing a little bit better now. I have it set super high How about there. That looks about about right. So we're gonna do the other walls gray here in a minute and then uh, move all of the current office stuff of hers in there. Look at that, look how cool that is. You got her, her M3. You guys will see a lot more stuff on her car in the future as well. Um, yeah, her car is gonna, I think I'm gonna buy us both nitrous kits come tax time and uh, see how far that goes for both of us. But she wants to throw a big old turbo on that thing. And then once she puts a window on the block, it's getting 2J swapped. I think I told you guys about this. Our dog's name is 
Jay Z after the two Jay Z. So, next video, I have more puppies. Um, I'm gonna unbox those tools. I'm gonna start being able to use that electric ratchet, which I've been craving over. If you guys watch Jimmy Oaks, he has the Milwaukee one, the electric ratchet, and it just, I'm a big gadget guy, you know? So, seeing that is like, I, I don't mind doing manual, you know, wrenching. I, I am an aircraft mechanic, and we're not allowed to use power tools really, unless we get a stuck faster and you gotta drill it out. And, uh, why are you eating that, boy? Anyway, I think it'd be super cool to use. It goes up to, I think, 150 foot-pounds on yourself. Like, you can crank it to 150, and it does 75 foot-pounds on its own. So, just quit it! Get, get, drop that. All right, that's all I got. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, stay tuned. The very next video, we're, we're hopping into stuff. We're going to get, just start tearing around the motor, get the motor to the freaking machine shop, and... Roll on. I don't really have any updates on the transmission. I bought one. It's on its way to the builder. Bought all the other stuff I needed. That's also on its way to the builder. Wave track, um, hardened gears, three to six. Only to use a clutch from from two forward. From going from two to three, three to four, four to five, five to six. I won't technically won't have to use a clutch and won't have to let off the gas if the tune can do that. But let's see here nor there. Cevix will come eventually. We'll do an analog. All types of stuff. It's been a day. Now it's time to get back to work. I don't even know. What are we going to do for dinner? I don't even know. Anyway, questions, comments, concerns, drop down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the flip flop. Some bonus content for the real ones. Hey, little man. Apex. Hey. Okay, we're just walking. Hey. Hey, come here. Come here, you little bunny. You little bunny rabbit. Look at you. Oh, now you want to be on camera, huh? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, got the room painted. Looks great. Got our little setups going on here. It's a little dark. Still got a bunch of stuff to put on the walls I got to bring over, but, uh, yee yee. What's up, man? What are you doing? What are you doing? You're so freaking cute. Oh, <laughs> some boops. Getting some boops. Jay-Z. Shake. Shake. Good boy. My good boy. My good boy. Y'all wanted more dog stuff, so more just some, some dog stuff for y'all. What's up? He's teething so much. Ugh. Check out that pop socket. Let me see that. Dang. Nice. Teething. Teething. All right, that's over a minute. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.